Hi Aquarius, welcome to another lovely day of yours. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is a general reading. This may or may not resonate with every Aquarius watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to switch the energies vice versa. Maybe something's on hold or someone's put you on hold or there's just a lot of a period of no action right now. Could be, doesn't have to be there. Anyway, if you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below. And time is fluid, as you know, guys. So you could attach with this energy or we'll be dealing with in the near future. Wow, you have a commitment coming in. What is this? Ten of Pentacles. I mean, um, in a financial reading, this is a lot of abundance, financial abundance, okay? Money coming in in lump sum. But otherwise, this is a commitment. You have something awesome coming in, okay? This is the stability, security, commitment, marriage, long-term commitment, taking your um, relationship to a high level of commitment, whatever have you, okay? But that's the most dominant energy of the reading. This is awesome. All right, in the current situation, I feel that there's with the three of cups in reverse. I need to clarify before I open my big mouth. This could be a lack of reconciliation, okay? This could just be two people not being able to come on the same page. Could be a third party, could be multiple people involved within your relationship. It could be anything, okay? What is crossing this is the world, okay? So, okay. Now, there are chances that someone needs to end a cycle with another person, okay? So, now I get it. Maybe you want this commitment, okay? And this is coming in, right? But the problem here is the biggest challenge is out here is the world, which is shutting an old cycle and starting a new chapter, okay? Now, this could be with the same person. This could be with another person, okay? But with the three of cups and nervous, I'm getting at there is a third person involved here. There is a third party involved here. And in order for someone to get a commitment, in order to be in the stability and long-term commitment, one person has to end something with someone else, okay? So I, that's clearly what I'm getting here. In the past, there could have been some truthful communication between you and the person you're dealing with. Or this could just be someone who was just fed up and done with this drama, okay? And someone had made a very logical decision of cutting you out or you cut the other person out, okay? On your mind, exactly. So this is what is happening. On your mind, you are absolutely dissatisfied, okay? There's a lot of discontentment, dissatisfaction around the situation. You could be staying very, very aloof or you could just have, you know, things have come to a complete halt and, you know, like very, very stagnant. I feel right now, you're focusing more on uh, what was lost and not focusing on what you still have or what still remains, okay? It's almost like all is not lost, okay? But I think you're trying to control the outcome and you're resisting an offer that's coming in because you don't have... Uh, so with the Four of Cups, I feel there's a feeling of being very complacent right now, okay? You're just not happy. This could be someone that you're dealing with. Maybe this person's dealing with two people and this person's just constantly emotionally breadcrumbing you, okay? And this is just not the entire package. They're not ready to offer you the entire package, which is making you feel very, very upset and sad. The reason for the reading is the Nine of Wands in reverse, okay? So I feel that there's someone here who is very, very guarded out here. I think there's one person here who's ready to ready to forgive learn and move forward okay i think someone's getting their guard down you could have been very you could have had trust issues with this person okay due to your past experiences or maybe within this relationship okay but someone's ready to let their guards down okay someone's gonna let you in finally is what i'm getting with the two of swords here i feel that very soon someone needs to make a decision okay there is um someone's stuck between a rock and a hard place okay this is like to make a decision between two unpleasant choices all right so yeah this is someone who's going to be blocking their heart chakra because they yes they are very very stuck the two of swords is a very very difficult decision okay it's almost like whichever side you choose okay you want to be fair to both and now you're just stuck what you're doing with the knight of cups um, you're wanting to be vulnerable, okay? You're wanting to go ahead and express your emotions. You want to offer your love to this person. This is a love offer, commitment, whatever, okay? But again, the problem here is we're leading with the knight here, okay? So when we have the knights, you all know that the knights, they're travelers, right? They come in and out of your life. So this person can come, sweep you off your feet and leave, okay? So just be careful about that. Um, in your environment with the five of wands, I feel there's someone here, either there are too many people involved here again, okay, or that this person just having a lot of shit been thrown at them, okay, or this person is extremely conflicted about what to do. They're very conflicted about what to do, okay. The five of wands is almost like conflicted in a conflict, okay, or this could also be external conflict where this person feels they need to fight for this relationship. Or there are just too many people involved. I'm getting too many people, more than two people involved here, okay. This could be a love triangle. 
Yeah. You want to offer your love, but again, slowly, slowly, you again, with your emotions, I think you feel that, you know what, this was once a disappointing situation and you feel that this is going to continue to be a disappointing situation over and over and over again. But let me give you a tip. If you're ready to wait for this long-term investment, maybe this relationship is something that you've invested in for a very long time, right? You need to give this some time. Maybe you're rushing it, okay? Yes, this person has emotionally bred from you for a while, but yeah, maybe you're rushing it. This person's opening up. The good part is this person's opening up, okay? This person's wanting to be vulnerable to you and they're wanting to offer you, okay? But I think it could be anyways. Take it how it resonates, okay? But the likely outcome with the Three of Swords, I think there's still going to be a lot of stress, anxiety, a lot of emotional trauma and pain between you guys. The, 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 the Ten of Pentacles is here, okay? So this is your dominant energy, which means that this is the dominant energy. It doesn't show me on the cards, which means it's still not come into fruition. But there are there, there is a lot of potential for this commitment okay the problem here is that you one person's conflicted in their head and the other person who wants to express themselves emotionally is somewhere somehow in their emotions they're giving up they feel this is going to be a big fat disappointment again because i feel that you could have waited for this person to come in and offer this love to you for a very long time but this person needs to make a choice they need to end a cycle with someone else to be with you and the problem is here with the two of swords this person is stuck in their head they're not ready to make a choice What is this nine of wands in reverse? Yeah, see, this person is opening up slowly, but the problem is that they're moving, they're just not moving towards you with the knight of pentacles in reverse, okay? This is someone, again, who has a lot of fear of change. This person was anyways moving too slow towards you, all right? And now they're just completely at a halt. Things are just not moving forward. Everything's at a standstill out there. Maybe this person has a lot of, see, two of cups in reverse. So there could have been a separation or a breakup, or you guys are just not seeing eye to eye. Only because this person is just not being able to um, move quicker than what you expected. Okay, so I feel it's all about the timing. I think you want to rush in. You're like now, now, now. And they're like, wait, hold on. Give me some time. Okay. But this person's opening up. They will be vulnerable to you. Okay. It's your choice if you want to wait for this person or not. Um, what is the two of swords? What is this two of swords? Give me one card. One card for the two of swords. See, this person loves you very, very much. Okay, given they love you very much, but with the king of cups, you're dealing with someone very, very emotionally mature. This person has mastered their emotions. Okay, so if you're expecting this person to be like, um, very, very, uh, like you know, like your prince charming, that's not going to happen because this is someone mature and they're going to. They could love you to the moon and back, but they are not the best at expressing their emotions, okay? So that's one thing you need to take care of. But again, they're in their head, okay? They're in their head. Okay, let's clarify for the three of... Why is the three of cups in reverse as the current situation? See, they're ready to drop the load. That's the good news. They're ready to drop the load. They're ready to choose this. They're ready to choose you, okay? But but the hermit here, again. So what I'm getting is there's a lot of thinking, thinking, thinking going on, okay? And because this person's hermiting, right? You feel that this person is disconnected from you and they don't love you, blah, blah, blah. But it's just that this person is very, very conflicted in their head, okay? With the five of wands here. Five of wands, two of swords, it's all yours. So this person is constantly thinking about what they need to do, okay? The problem here is that they're not being able to take that leap. They're not being able to take that action, okay? That's why there's a lack of clarity. There's a lack of communication, whatever, okay? And again, like I said, right? You're losing your patience with the temperance in reverse here. Something needs balance, okay? You're going batshit crazy. I don't think this is the right thing to do. If you really want this commitment, you need to wait out. Because otherwise, it's still going to land up with the outcome as the Three of Swords. You're still going to be staying hurt, okay? You're still going to be feeling like a victim. So that's what I have for you. Uh, let me know if this reading resonates for you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.